Hey guys, welcome back. Um, here today we are going to continue on the gearbox. Um, last time we left off, we just pulled it out and we're going to start oops, we're going to start cleaning and uh, primering it and getting the whole fireball ready to put back in there. So today we are going to talk about uh, cleaning the surface before we put it in there, uh, the area we're going to put it in. Uh, so we are gonna just degrease. I don't know if you've seen from other videos just how nasty and just from years of build up, uh, pretty much the pedal area, uh, just from years of greasing it up and you know all the build up of dirt and grime and stuff. So we are gonna degrease all that, um, clean it very well, um, add some anti corrosion um, chemicals on it, and then install the 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 gearbox. So what I'm using today, I usually use uh, another clean product called, uh, it's a Simple Green, the aviation uh, version of it, which it cleans very well, but when, uh, by years of using it, um, when it's heavy, heavy grease or uh, oil that's been there for a while, it, it doesn't penetrate as, uh, as well as this one here is the LPS, a little degreaser. So that's what I'm gonna use today, just to shoot that in there, uh, let it uh, set there, loosen up all that grease and clean it with some scotch pad, the red scotch pad. And then once it's all clean uh, uh, and all the oils and grease is all gone, then I'm going to go over it with uh, this, this little, pretty much it's just acid for, acid for the aluminum. Pretty much takes all your oxidation and all the surface corrosion that you might not be able to see. So you just dilute it with some water, put in a little spray bottle and spray it and let it do its thing. You just don't allow it to dry up on you. If it dries up on you, just spray it again. Then you could go over with the scotch pad and that pretty much just brightens out the, the aluminum, cleans it very well uh, in case you're gonna primer it or uh, it, um, put some allodyne on it just like this here. This will be your, your step after you, you wash, you're actually clean with some acid. You apply this and it gives you a nice little uh, like gold tint to it, which the aluminum absorbs it, which allows um, your primer to actually adhere to it very well versus not having this at all and it's also a nice uh, anti-corrosion. So um, with that said, yeah, um, we'll keep updating you after that and also we've been getting a comment or questions asked about how uh, much money we put into these or uh, we're going over our heads, you know, uh, with people that have I guess had project before and they think it's good. we're spending a lot of money into it but the way we're doing it everything is here in house so we're trying to do this for your you know common Joe that you know has basic hand tools and is good with the wrench um, we buy these projects pretty much dirt cheap and it's just to show you guys that anyone any budget could fix them up and get them flying without taking them to a, a repair station FBO and spending hundreds and thousands of dollars just to get them going just the way we are going to get them. So what we do, we just, we buy them, we source our parts. They're still legal parts. You know, it's always up to the MPIA to inspect the parts when you receive it uh, and go, you know, check the background of the part that you get uh, to see if it's legal to use. Uh, and that's what we do. Like the, the gearbox we bought off eBay, off a donor plane. We did the background on the plane. We got a, a tag on it. We what, we uh, fully inspected it and found it to be serviceable. So that's how we are able to do these kind of projects. We don't, if we had to buy it new, we buy it new, but it's one of those that we try not to just cause it's very expensive. So like this one, um, our budget on this one is gonna be $15,000. And so far uh, it's going good. Um, we pretty much don't even have 4,000 into it. That's including the airplane. <laughs> so um, our our goal is uh, 15 and under, and just to have a nice flying, safe uh, plane. So, like I said, um, uh, like if you have any questions, how we're doing it, or you know, sourcing parts and stuff like that, or um, if you find a part that um, you suspect is not right, well, that's it's still going to be up to you or the guy installing it. They could say it's good, but that doesn't mean it's actually a good part. You know, it's one of those up to the the installer, the AMP guy or IA to say, okay, this is good. Um, so we can't really tell you <laughs> that on that aspect. So other than that, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, clean this up 
and uh, we'll keep uh, shooting the video and uh, updating you on how everything goes. Do you have any Do you have any tips on if somebody's looking for a project? What would be a red flag as far as don't don't um, that project? No, unless it's or yeah. The the one thing corrosion. I would say uh, stay away from is something heavily corrosion um, airplane. Uh, pretty much all along the coast, especially on the east coast, those are um, really bad. Usually, when you get a good deal, it's not really a good deal because it's the ones that um, it didn't maybe go through. It didn't pass the annual just because they found a lot of corrosion. It's one of those that they would tell you like, oh, it just has a little bit, but I just don't have time or. Uh, the ones I usually stay away from is the ones that, just like I said, that, oh yeah, especially if the guy's an AMPIA and he doesn't want to finish the project or he found something that then he says, oh, I just ran out of time or something. That, that's usually a red flag for me because that means that they found something and it's going to be too much money to fix. Because if it, IA is saying he doesn't want to fix the project, then it's, it, it's a red flag. So yeah, it's one of those that uh, anything with the heavy corrosion, uh, you can stay with because you can replace some of those parts but if it's something really bad it's all the structural stuff get into it and uh, that's it's a lot a lot of money and time and it's not really worth it unless it's one of those that sentimental to you that airplane and they don't have any or you can't find any here then yeah well then that's a different story but now yeah the red flags is just if someone says oh i don't want to work on it because i ran out of time or something it's usually indication they found something or they can't find those parts or they don't make those parts and it's going to be a pretty much a paperweight somewhere in your garage. <laughs> all right. So, all right, well, well thank you. And uh, like I said, we'll, we'll keep you up to date uh, getting this gearbox in and uh, we'll shoot some more videos for you. All right. Thank you. you get to work. Yeah. Welcome back. Um, we just finished up here uh, cleaning this whole, I guess, uh, gearbox area I guess from the the back of seats forward we pretty much had to go in there and just a lot of elbow grease uh, just a lot of grease rat droppings and rat nests and stuff from 30 40 years of people just letting it just sit in whatever airport it was so we got all that cleaned out we started off by just uh, spray down with some degreaser just to help to break down some of that uh, oil and grease build up from the years um, and uh, then we started scrubbing down with some scotch pads we got most of that down and once we got it to a nice uh, pretty much uh, clean uh, sheet metal we sprayed it down with some some acid and that pretty much just brines up the the aluminum takes all the, the impurities that we miss goes into the pores and scratch and stuff so it, it pulls all the nasty stuff out in case we wanted a primer or anything else and then um, we were going to coat it with some aldine just to corrosion prevention but it's one of those that it's a tail dragger so nothing really accumulates up there we are going to do that in the tail once we get to the area and primer it back there but the nose area is not real needed it's very clean uh, so that's where we're at now so now we're ready to slap on the the gearbox over there which is nicely fresh uh primered and ready to go so once we get that going uh we'll, we'll update you guys with the new video and uh if you guys have any questions uh concerns or some kind of comments or want to ask us what uh products we use or what's the best for degreasing or etching or stuff like that just yeah shoot us down something in the comments and make sure you hit that subscribe and like button and we'll continue these videos for you guys. Thank you.